Hello everybody and welcome back to Erratus Lord of the Dead. This is our more pain playthrough, a hard mode playthrough with our alternate skins on our characters. I've only done one battle so far. Well, the intro battle and another battle. So let's go ahead and keep on moving. These guys, I'd prefer them to have full health, um, but I don't know if that's going to be possible this early. We don't have a lot of parts right now. What will be good is grabbing another minion here. Let's go ahead and... Hmm, this is tricky. Liches can sometimes be useful in that third spot. Let's grab a Lich. And I think I'm actually going to go ahead and put him in that third spot so she can step out. Maybe get some, some passive healing. We're going to go up against an Elite here. And an Elite there. Just different, different units. Uh, which way do we want to go? Let's look at the tree and how it branches and we we can kind of decide Like if we go here, we'll have the ability to restore all of our minions vigor So if we get beat up, we can keep our core squad in shape and I'm kind of thinking that's the way to go So let's go ahead and go this way Then see what kind of trouble we can get into here, shall we? So he's the elite And he's already been buffed for 20% damage and 20% accuracy so he's gonna be our target we're gonna want to take this guy out as soon as we can and that means all damage is going on to him for the time being and now we're shocked it's gonna skip our turn that is not good really important we take this guy out quick that was a lucky miss now this attack that he has is going to deal damage to a random enemy. It's magical damage, so it's quite a bit of damage, but it is random. Uh, he has some other abilities too. We could buff one of our folks, but that'll push him forward. I'm going to go ahead and just do this. You know, actually, well, Ignition. That's going to hit our allies. Let's just do Bone Shards. And we got lucky, and it actually targeted the guy we want to focus fire. Sometimes that happens. Sometimes it doesn't. Let's see if we can get close to taking him out here. Oh, just one hit point. Um, let's see. Yeah, I might as well have her finish him. Good, good. More materials. Ooh, I didn't think it would be this easy. And we're going to want to see if we can knock him out of that stance. We may be able to do that. Nice crit. Extinction. And we're going to want to focus on him as well. So that's a trap. If she moves at all from that, that's going to hit her again. It would hit anybody else who got pushed into that spot. He's not in the right position to use this. I would love to have him interrupt the stance that this guy has going on, but he's just not in position to do it. I will do this, which is going to gain six armor, and yeah, basically he's going to draw the attack, so kind of goes into a tank mode, which is okay. Takes some of the damage off our other guys. I could have her go ahead and use Rose for a lady here. That's fine. Become part of the breathless It gets rid of him and it puts some damage on the others. I'm tempted to have him go ahead and heal up. So this ability, all enemies will lose 12 vigor and the Dark Knight recovers the vigor from them. So that's a good way to get him back to full health. Ooh, this one voided its Which will make it easier to have him go into another battle for us if he doesn't get too wounded by the end of this one. Like he'll probably take another hit. Oh no, he won't actually, so that's great. Now we have him at full health for next time. 
And we really are getting less parts, I've noticed on this difficulty, as it's stated. A couple of things happening in our graveyard. We got our Bone Golem back up to full strength. We're going to go ahead and we'll do his level when he comes out, but we need to get him in there for some healing. We'll move the Bone Golem in here. And, hmm, maybe I'll put back her back in there for now. We really could use another Bride. And we can make one. Uh, a design from my younger years. Okay, so I'm going to swap her in just so she actually, you know what, might be a better idea. Could pull him out. We could put her in to get her her first level. That should be fine. We can leave her in for now. Let's do that. And for him, let's just take some straight up attack. Get back to battle. And this zombie is always going to need accuracy. The zombies have started with such poor base Serve accuracy. Me well, my that if you plan on using them at all, you really have to level that up. Alright, let's go ahead. We can move forward. We can heal everybody. So, what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to put all the wounded people into, into the squad too. And actually, who's sitting out? Oh yeah, we can just get you healed up, buddy. Got his accuracy. Let's go for some for some armor. I expect results. And the way this works is we're gonna select squad two. We're gonna move here to the fountain of restoration and we're gonna heal the vigor of all of our minions. Conversely, if we've been using a lot of mana on Erratus, we could um, have refilled his maximum mana with this option here. But we're going to go ahead and choose Vigor since our minions are low on health. And they're all full now, so that's perfect. I Now we need to get our squad back in order, so let's do that before we jump back into combat. Uh, there we go, that looks perfect. Everybody's at full health, and we could go into another battle here. Well, that's unfortunate. We kind of messed up our order. Let's do something. Well, either way, he's going to take damage. Let's do this. That'll give him a buff. It'll fix our order. We're going to have him wait. And we're going to use Ignition. Which is going to set the target on fire until the battle ends. Let's go ahead and put it on one of these spearmen. They're going to give us some problems. They have some defensive stances. That could really get in the way. Okay, now we finally have everybody basically where we want them. I want my skeleton moved up. Which I can do in a moment. That was not what I wanted. I wanted to hit this guy with it. So th that was shit. And we're going to pay for it. We're also going to pay for not bringing a bride with us. Not quite sure how that happened. Um, okay. Whatever minion moves. Well, we're not going to move. Well, that's just not dealing any damage to him. Perfect. I'll take it, I guess, at this point. This is going to be a rough one. I've never not brought a bride 
Um, so I don't expect this to go well at all. We were already taking way too much damage. And we haven't put out any damage whatsoever. I can have him do this. That's going to help some. It's going to keep him alive at least. Strange that he only attacked once there. He should have swung twice. But what do I know? That that's a good crit. I'll take that. I think I'm just going to keep having him do this whenever I have the rage. Keeps him alive and deals damage to everybody. And since I don't have a bride, getting consistent damage out on them all is going to be necessary. This guy's probably going to burn to death, I guess. Maybe I should let him do that. He, he might he might hit us again though is the only thing. Nope, he didn't burn to death. That is unfortunate. I should have counted his hit points out. Let's just finish that, shall we? Jeez. I don't really want to lose him. Oh, that's right. He's immune to buffs and debuffs. Guys, the skeleton is immune to buffs and debuffs, if you didn't know. Which you probably did. We're probably going to lose our skeleton, but we're not going to lose our Dark Knight, so... There he goes. And that was totally avoidable. Had I brought a bride or had us in the right order to start with, none of this would have happened, but it's okay. Still early. Overall, though, you really can't afford to lose minions. Just in general, I don't think we can really afford to lose minions. Oh, is, yeah, okay. Wonderful. So what happened was we just went into battle with the wrong battle group. That's all that happened, and that's fine. My enemies are Get your accuracy up nice so you don't miss. Surprise. This is not someone I want in there at all. Nobody else to put in there at the moment. Go with attack on her. Prove yourself worthy of my investment. He needs to go in there. Um, everyone else is basically okay. We could take the proper party next time. And that'll go a little smoother for us, I think. We have two talent points to spend, so I think we needed three. Yeah, we're still waiting on three. I, I want to get more brains, so that when we do lose people, it'll be easier to replace them, basically. Alright. That's group two. This is group one. From here, we can go this way and take a quest, and follow that up with another Fountain of Restoration. We could go this way to Estelle, which contains records of past battles. So with this, we can either raise the level of our minions by one in that party, or we can uh, give experience to Aratus himself. A quest, anything could happen, good or bad, sort of. There could be a battle, there could just be an event, you could lose one of your minions. I don't really know how I feel about the quests and their rewards and if they're worth it. 
Uh, selecting a boon is easy. Let's see, what do we want? This is something we could equip to one of our characters. Amazing what they just leave lying around. I'm gonna go with that. And if we take a look, we can go ahead and put this here. And he'll get plus two armor. And then starting at the first position, he'll get luck for three turns, stacks up to three times. All right. I think we can go ahead and get one more battle in. This one should go a little bit more smoothly. Now that we have our proper main party selected. Our focus here really has to be this crazy guy way in the back. Um, unfortunately, the problem is getting to him because he's way in the back. Let's start laying down Soprano to reduce damage coming in and reduce their sanity. Your frail bodies fail you. We don't want her to get hit. Because every attack against her now is going to be a critical hit. We. Okay, we have to get this uh, shield off of him. So we got to start working on that now. It sucks to waste a shot from her like that, but nobody else can hit that guy. Short of us really moving everyone around quite substantially. I'm going to go ahead and put bone armor on her. Because I don't want her to die. And we're going to start trying to get damage into this doomsayer. have to get through that block, you know. That's why the skeleton's nice, because he's got two swings on smite. Uh, but we lost our skeleton, and then I have this bone golem who's just getting totally ripped into. We're going to go ahead and heal him. Because he's just getting annihilated. Healing might, in fact, be the only thing he does. All right, now we can start pumping out some damage to everybody. Kill, my darling, kill. That's gonna help us immensely, I think. <laughs> Keeping the debuff on them is helping with how much damage they're able to get into us. That's why I really like uh, having the Banshee along with us. Nice. That attack does more damage the more damage is missing from the enemy already. I can't believe that we're going to lose this Bone Golem. It's insane the amount of damage they're putting out on him. That guy just went insane. Uh, which isn't going to matter in a second because I think I'm about to drop him. Yeah. When this guy dies, the Doomsayer and his allies is gonna, are going to restore 50 Vigor. But this guy's in defensive stance, so yeah. Let's do that instead, I guess. There he goes. We're just losing our skeleton people left and right. This guy's healing back here, I believe. He must be healing. Gotta get through the armor. Gotta start putting some major DPS down somehow. Very quickly. Oh. 
Oh, betrayal. I love it. I love when they go insane and betray us. Now he wants to run away, which, God, I don't blame him. There he goes. This is what a thousand years of evolution looks like. Yeah, pathetic. Savor these last I like it, I like it. Beats. Keep doing that. As worthless as you were in life, you will be worth something. And now he went insane as well, which is perfect. That's a magical attack that only does 2-3 to three damage, but it will occasionally freeze them. Howl skips the turns, so perfect for us. Because then we could basically just finish him off. And there you have it. Another skeleton down Another though. Step towards my but we got a brain, so we can replace somebody. And that's good. We might replace the bone golem. We need to replace both of them, in honesty. So a couple of things we need to do. Do need to have a skeleton. Bones, bones, and we bones. do need to have a bone golem. And so one of them can go for training, and on the other we'll use our we'll use our brain. Let's get you your My accuracy, and then some more attack, and that should work. Flip on your alternate costume, And then for our new Bone Golem, he can get a level in here. And who's hurt? You're really hurt. You need to step out. And I guess that means that you are coming in. Something like that. That looks good. I think we're going to take a break here. I'm hoping soon we'll be able to get more brains and get that going. Uh, so yeah, we're we'll take a break. I hope you guys are enjoying this. It's a little more difficult It's not as difficult as I thought it was going to be But I'm sure the difficulty is only gonna ramp up the further and further that we get already We're losing some minions pretty early on but due to some stupid mistakes by me so Very interested to keep going see how hard it can actually get hope you guys are having a good time Let me know your thoughts opinions Worries fears hopes dreams in the comments below and we'll see you again next time. Thanks so much for the support and take care.